Hi everyone, so I know a lot of you guys have requested career readings and self-empowerment readings and I definitely want to start doing those, but with the full moon, um, I think it's the, is it the full moon or the new moon in Cancer right now, the energy is very emotional, very deep, very romantic, so I'm just going to go with where the energy is flowing, but I'll, I'll come back on in the near future and, and do some, you know, I'll, I'll try to put some career readings out there for you guys too, I'm going to try to start mixing it up a little bit more. But, um, but yeah, I was feeling that, that moon and cancer energy yesterday morning it was like, it was just a very peaceful, spiritual sort of energy. It was very psychic. I've been having a lot of, um, like very psychic dreams the past week or so. What card was that that just popped out? Got the nine of swords that popped out. Okay. Someone's having some kind of anxiety here. Let's see. Eight of wands. <clears throat> two of wands let's see what the please keep in mind this is not going to resonate with everyone i channel different energy groups on here so only take this if it resonates got the eight of wands the two of wands page of wands the hierophant the hermit the seven of swords Hmm. What is the Seven of Swords about here? The Chariot, the World, the Ten of Cups, the Three of Swords. Someone is breaking their own heart almost because they think something's too good to be true. Hmm. It's really interesting because I had to pause because I'm like, why the fuck is the Son of Swords here? Because the Hierophant is the counterpart to the High Priestess. So the Hierophant, this can be someone in a position of authority. Hierophant can also be about marriage and, and commitment. Um, it can be about traditions. It can be studying, learning. I almost feel it's like this man has been waiting for something or this man is, I feel like this man is channeling his true love or someone's channeling their true love here, but they don't trust it. Tell me more because we got like the Ten of Cups, the Three of Swords. So it's like there actually is Ten of Cups energy here, but they're like, they're not believing it. They're seeing it as a three of swords or they're hurting themselves somehow. The chariot and the world. The chariot is about moving forward. The world is like a completion. So it's almost like something here is trying to move forward. It's almost like someone is of two different minds. So there could be the spiritual telepathic aspect and then their ego or their mind is like fighting that. Like they're not believing in something. Like there's true love here. Or there's a divine commitment or a divine connection here. There's something very solid here. Tell me more about this. Why the Seven of Swords though? Because I almost get like Seven of Cups type energy from it. Or that energy of like illusion. So I'm almost wondering if this person just doesn't feel like they're worthy of it. Like maybe this, this Hierophant, maybe this man that's tuning into his psychic abilities. Maybe he feels like... Um, Maybe he feels like he's done bad things in the past, like lying, cheating, stealing. So maybe he's looking at this like, oh, this couldn't possibly be for me. It's like self-sabotage, like, <clears throat> like it couldn't be that easy. Um, or I could even see this as like an illusion where it's like he's projecting it onto the wrong person. Like someone, there's some kind of sneaky energy around him. This could be like a third party or something. So it's like he's not understanding where this psychic energy is coming from. Tell me more about this. It's just something weird here. Let me see. Tell me more about this This hermit, the seven of swords, the higher font. Tell me more about this energy here. Six of cups. The wheel of fortune. Yeah, it's like... It's like he's sabotaging himself. It really feels like he's sabotaging himself. <clears throat> I feel like this could be a connection from maybe like a past life connection. There's something about this connection. There's something that's very pure here, very real. 
But it's almost like he's telling himself that. Like he's, I mean, he's telling himself like this is childish or this is an illusion. Um, I feel like he's really strongly telepathically connecting with someone. Tell me more about this. But he's convinced this person would reject him. It's really strange. And I don't think that he or she would reject them. Like they're fantasizing about someone, but they're, and then they're telling themselves like, oh, this is just in my head. This is just childish fantasies. This is just an illusion. Because um, maybe in real life, maybe they feel rejected by this person or maybe they feel like this person's out of their league or something. But I don't think it's the case. I really feel like the love is mutual because if you have that strong... If you have that strong of a telepathic psychic connection with someone, like it, it's mutual, you know what I mean? Like you're not going to have, you're not going to be able to get into someone's energy field to that extent that you're just channeling them like that. If, if there's not some kind of past life bond there, some kind of soulmate bond there, there's something there. Um, <coughs> mm, bear with me guys. Sorry. I feel like this person could even feel rejected by you um, it, or, and take it how it resonates. This could be, you could be this Hierophant or you could be this, um, the, the other person, just take it as it resonates. But I almost feel like this person's feeling rejected and they're like looking for outside validation because they're feeling rejected by you, but you're not rejecting them or someone's not being rejected here, but they're feeling rejected. I almost actually think it's the Hierophant that's feeling rejected. is this yeah their spirit guides are trying to lead them this world isn't a bad thing so the world is about completion closure but it's not a bad thing i feel like their spirit guides are trying to telepathically lead them to their true love they're trying to lead them to they have a very strong psychic bond with someone and they are trying to lead this hierophant to that person they are trying to to solidify this bond but I feel like this person is in their head. The hangman is like a new perspective or it's like someone thinking a lot about something. So it's almost like the 10 of cups is right there. That true love, power couple, um, just happiness. Like what they've been wanting is right in front of their face, but they're questioning it. They're doubting it. They're in their head with the hangman energy and they're standing their ground. They're, they're afraid to be the king of cups. So there's someone here. And this man actually truly loves. Now, they might be fucking around with third parties or whatever. Like, this person could be fucking around with, you know, maybe more than one third party. Who knows? But there's one person in particular that they have a very strong psychic bond with. And they are almost afraid of becoming the king of cups because this this connection is is opening them up. It's opening them up spiritually. And I think that what they don't understand is that them becoming the King of Cups is a good thing. This is what they've prayed for. And they've prayed for this kind of love. They've asked the universe for, for the kind of love that's right in front of their face that they're not seeing. Um, they've prayed for, I think they've, they've also like, you know, prayed or, or however, however you want to call it, you know, prayed, done magic, uh, manifested, whatever. I feel like this person is is trying to manifest being this king of cups again. I feel like it's a part of themselves that they miss. Um, it, it's almost like on a very deep loyal. Uh, I did not mean to say deep loyal. I meant to say on a deep soul level. So maybe on a deep soul level, this person's actually very loyal. They're very committed. They're a king of cups type. They're loving. They're romantic. They're idealistic. But um on a surface level, like on a conscious level, maybe this man likes to fit in with the crowd. They like to pretend to be a player or they like to pretend to, it's like, they just like to fit in. They have an image that they're, they're very defensive over. Um, and so I, I feel like they're almost afraid of this telepathic bond. They're almost afraid of this psychic energy because it's, it's bringing them back to their true selves, which is a, a king of cup, king of cups. So this could be someone who just got their heart broken or, or just someone who chose ego at a certain point. They might have gone through a breakdown and they're like, you know what? I'm never going to feel that way again. I never want to be this king of cups again. Um, it's a killer, killed, killer, be killed world, like that kind of mentality. 
but I just feel like they miss being their true selves. It's like they feel this loneliness because they're pushing their soul away. They're pushing this huge part of themselves out, this King of Cups side of themselves. It's like they feel like something's missing in their life and there's this emptiness. And a lot of it is because they're not being themselves. They're going along with the crowd. They're going along with what you know what's popular what people want to see but they're they're denying their own soul they're denying who they truly are um and i'm going to get more into the psychic connection here too because i think there's something going on between you guys telepathically that we're going to look into so bear with me here but i feel like this person's like defensive because they feel this psychic energy is like kind of bringing them back to being this king of cups side of themselves and then with that comes you know the pain that they've suppressed or maybe the rejection that they went through in the past um but this is, I mean, I think they were meant to go through that phase of not being their true selves for a while just to understand that it's not what they want, that they don't want to be that person. You know, it's like they had to learn the other spectrum of things, but it's like now they're meant to go back to being their true selves. They're meant to integrate what they've learned in this period where they haven't been themselves and kind of balance it out with the King of Cups energy. And I think that's what this person's not understanding is they're afraid that they're going to um, just go back to being like a hundred percent King of Cups. You know what I mean? Like just, just completely in that energy and they're, they're going to repeat past cycles, but that's not the case. Um, cause they've learned, you know what I mean? The past, you know, months or years or however long they haven't been themselves for, they've learned a lot in that energy as toxic as it may be. They have learned a lot. Um, and they're meant to integrate and, and balance those energies out. So it's like maybe they learned how to be a king of swords or a king of pentacles. So now they bring that energy in and they they open up to their true king of cup self again. But they have that energy of the king of pentacles or king of swords to balance it out. You know what I mean? Like they're part king of pentacles, part part king of swords, part king of cups, you know, whatever. Like they're they're able to find that balance. They're able to pull on different energies as needed. You know what I mean? Like they, they've learned to be strong and be assertive when they need to, to be emotional when, when they're in a safe environment to do so. Like they're, they're not going to lose themselves to the King of Cups energy. They're not going to fully be a hundred percent King of Cups like they maybe were in the past. So they don't need to worry about that. They need to find that balance and, you know, really integrate all parts of, of who they really are as a person. Uh, but anyway, there's something there's something like with like rejection where it's like they feel like this this man feels like you're rejecting him, but you're not rejecting him. It's almost like he's just in his head a lot and he rejects himself and then he projects that onto you and makes it seem like you're rejecting him. You probably really love this man or you probably at the very least care about him very deeply. Like there is a very strong there's mutual feelings here for sure. Um, but for some reason, he's feeling rejected. I feel like, I just feel like it's his own insecurities. I, I feel like this man might really be in his head a lot. Like he, um, like he daydreams or whatnot a lot. And he, um, he, uh, I feel like he is psychic. I feel like he's intuitive, but the issue is that he doesn't know when he's channeling, when he's getting a psychic download or telepathically communicating with someone, he can't tell the difference between that and just fantasy. Um, so I feel like, for example, you guys might be having like sexual fantasies about each other. Like you're both having sexual fantasies about each other, you know, like you might even, you know, the female here might even be like touching herself and like thinking about the man and then he telepathically feels it and he like starts, sorry, sorry, it's a lot, <laughs> sorry, but I'm just saying, um, it's, it's what's coming through. Like, like he might telepathically feel that and he starts touching himself and thinking about her. Um, but he doesn't understand that it's telepathic. You know what I mean? Like he, he would never in a million years think that she would be touching herself to him. Um, he just assumes that, oh, like, you know, I, I scrolled past her picture or something or, or, you know, I'm just horny, just randomly horny or something. Like he doesn't understand that it's a telepathic connection. Um, so it's like, and I think, I think the, the female might actually understand, or the, the, whoever's in feminine energy, this could be two men, this could be two women, could be a male and a female, just take it as it resonates, there's no specific gender here, but I just get this energy of like, I think one person's more psychically aware than the other, um, so it's like, yeah, he like, might touch himself to her, but he's like, he doesn't realize that she's like doing it at the same time in that moment, um, I also feel a very strong, like, romantic, emotional energy. Let's see. 
the tower, the world. I'm hearing that song by Miley Cyrus. <laughs> I'm hearing that song by Miley Cyrus. I'm hearing um, the music video too. I feel like it's it's a re it's relevant. Like maybe that's how the feminine feels like. I came in like a wrecking ball. All I ever wanted to do was break your walls. All you ever did was break me. Um, and she's really emotional in that video too. She's like crying and stuff. It's like a very raw music video. I like that. I like that video. I'm not like a huge Miley Cyrus fan, but I do like that song. Um, but I'm getting that energy with like the tower and the world. It's like you just came in like someone came in like a wrecking ball and just shook this person's life up. This queen of cups just shook this person's life up. Um, success, victory, six of wands. The thing is, though, like, tell me more about this. Hold on. Yeah, she's meant to, like, help him move. See, he has a ton of cups with her. He has a ton of cups with this, this woman. It's being presented to him, but he he's feeling, like, rejected by her. It's almost like she came into his life like a wrecking ball to shake things up, to almost cause a spiritual awakening, but they're also meant to be together. There's also true love here between them, you know? Um, she was meant to bring about some pretty big changes in his life, and it's like Six of Swords is moving things from rough waters to calmer waters, and it's like they're trying to do that. His spirit guides are trying to, again, get him in that King of Cups energy, get him to... Stop denying his true feelings, to stop denying his soul, to stop denying who he really is. Stop trying to fit in with the crowd. He's going to be a million times more successful in life if he is honest with himself about how he feels and he's honest with himself about who he is and who he wants to be. You know, he needs to get on the same page with himself because he's out of balance right now. And it's like his spirit guides are trying to work with him and help him move things forward in his life and help him have this love, abundance, happiness. But it's like he's like holding on to past energies. There could be something that's like he's afraid of. Um, maybe this woman like reminds him of someone else or something and he's like afraid of. Uh, it, but she's not like that person. But he's like he doesn't realize that there's like maybe like a trauma that's coming up. There's something he's holding on to from the past. Um, but it's like there's ten of cups. There's true love right in front of his face. But there's four of swords he's in his head. It's like, there's an emotional offer here. There's, it's like this love is practically being thrown at him, but for whatever reason he feels he's, this is, so this is more like emotional, spiritual behind the scenes. Like for whatever reason, he doesn't actually feel loved or wanted by this woman in the physical world. But it's strange because I feel like she does love him or she does care about him very deeply at least. It's like she's offering him love. She's offering him support. She's offering, she wants to be in his life, but he's not seeing her. Or he's not recognizing her. Or I almost feel like he could even think that this energy is coming from someone else when it's not. You know what I mean? Like he might project it onto her. Like he might have, um, how do I explain this energy? Like he might have fantasies about this woman, but then he's like, well, this has to just be a fantasy because... Um, you know, it's not moving, we're not talking in the physical world or we're not communicating in the physical world or she's not doing this or she's not doing that. And I don't think he's recognizing that he's not making moves towards her either because he's holding, he's not, he, his, he's being guided to move towards her and he's not, he's, he, he kind of is, but he's also holding on to something from the past. He's blocking himself off. This reminds me a lot of that reading that we just did. That was like within, I think, the past three or four days or so. I don't remember exactly when, but in the reading, I was getting this energy of like this this woman is being a queen of swords because this man is being a king of swords. So he's not coming at her as a king of cups. He's coming at her as a king of swords, which is somebody that's logical, um, closed off even, cold, distant, 
And so she's responding. She's matching his energy by being the queen of swords. She's like, okay, if he's distant, I'm going to be distant. If he's cold, I'm going to be cold. If he's not communicating with me, I'm not going to communicate with him either. Like this queen of swords is responding to this man's energy. And in that reading, I was getting like, he wasn't even aware of that. He wasn't even aware of the, the fact that she's just matching his energy. She's following his lead. And if he's distant, if he's not showing interest, then she's going to assume that he's not interested and she's going to, you know, she's going to be guarded as well. She's going to protect her emotions as much as she can, at least. But, um, but yeah, in that reading, it was almost like he didn't recognize it, though. It's like he didn't realize she, that he was a king of swords. He saw himself as a king of cups. Um, but he wasn't acting like that towards her. You know what I mean? Like he might be fantasizing about this woman. Like he might think about her all day long. But then when he sees her in person, he's cold and closed off and guarded. And so that's what she, that's all she sees. She doesn't see, you know, that he was that she was in his head all day long. She doesn't see any of that. She just sees, OK, in person, he's very closed off and guarded. He must he must not want to talk to me or whatever. You know what I mean? So she responds to his energy. So I think this man needs to kind of understand how he presents himself more. He needs to understand that she's following his lead. So you want this woman to communicate with you, you need to communicate with her. You want her to be open and gentle with you, you need to be open and gentle with her. You need to give her a safe space to be open and gentle with you. Because someone here is just not mindful of how they come off to someone else or someone is not mindful of how they present themselves or or whatever else. It's like, but anyway, um, cause it just baffles me that he feels rejected because I see this woman is like, she's, she's coming up as like 10 of cups, ace of cups. Like, like her emotions for him are just like overflowing. Like she is about to explode with passion, with emotion, with love for this man. And he doesn't, he's over, look at him. He's, he's asleep. He's got his eyes closed. He's meditating. He's somewhere else. He's not seeing any of this. He's not seeing any of this. He, he's, he's in his head. Um, it's, it's, yeah. Cause it's so strange to me that he feels rejected because I feel so much love here. I feel so much mutual love. They, they both have very strong feelings for each other, but it, it's like he, it's like he rejects himself or he creates false scenarios in his head and then he goes with that and he rejects himself. And then he assumes that she would reject him when he, when she wouldn't reject him. Like he might create fake scenarios in his head like, oh, I bet we would just fight or I bet that she would want somebody else or I bet that I wouldn't be enough for her. Um, and she never said any of that. She never felt that way. Like she never felt that negativity towards him. She never said that. But he got in his head and assumed the worst. And then he projects that onto her and just, you know, assumes she's going to reject him when she's, she's actually pouring her heart out here to him. You know what I mean? Like she's just full of love for him. Like she doesn't, she's, she's not... She never rejected him. She never intended to reject him. He is rejecting himself and blaming her for it. Uh, yeah, with this, hmm. with this psychic energy, it's really interesting because it's like I almost I don't feel like he's understanding it. What is this? Keep in mind, I primarily channel, so I don't always need the cards. A lot of times, I just kind of know what the story is or I know what the energy is. Um, it's kind of like what I was saying. It's like, like he might, you know, touch himself. Like there's very sexual energy here too. He might touch himself thinking about her and it's like she might have started it or vice versa. It could go both ways. It probably does like, you know, depend on the day or whatever. But like for like sometimes I feel like she does it first and then he feels her telepathically doing it. And then he touches himself, you know, he 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 gets himself off or whatever, and like thinking about her and he doesn't understand like that they're telepathically connecting. Like she's touching herself at the same time thinking about him. Like there's that passion, that sexual energy between them as well as the love. You know, you got pretty much everything here. Um, but it's, it's like sad though, because it's, it's like he doesn't, I almost feel like he thinks like, oh, there's no way she would, you know, like masturbate to me. Like, why would she do that? Like, like he, I don't know, like, I don't think he understands it, but it's like, she is, you know what I mean? Like there is that sexual connection. Um, as, as you know, it's, there's a lot of energy here. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of, of love. There's, there's, there's a bit of everything. This is what both of them asked for. This is what both of them have been praying for. I really feel too, like, 
I just feel like they telepathically connect. I mean, sometimes it's sexual, but I think other times it's like romantic or emotional. Like, I feel like she might, like she might pull on him. Like she might call to him. You know what I mean? Like she might like cry out for him or she just calls to him. Like she, like she, she wants to be close to him, you know? So sometimes it's like, she might feel his sadness or he might feel her sadness. It's like, cause they want to connect. They want to be close. Their souls, these two people, like their souls want to be close. Um, it's the mind that's getting in the way. One or both people's minds are getting in the way here. But I, I feel like telepathically, it's like he might feel her pull on him, but not in like a, not in a toxic, you know, crazy way, but more in like a, just like, like romantic emotional fantasies you know what I mean like she might just think about like god like it would be really nice if if we were talking and like she might like fantasize like in a romantic sense or and he might do the same as well and they pick up on it like like god I wonder what it'd be like if he like took me to this club and we went dancing together um I wonder what it would be like if he if we you know stayed up all night having like long conversations and just really got to know each other I wonder what it would be like if he was like here with me right now, like cuddling up with me, like and I could just fall asleep in his arms and just watch movies with him and like that kind of thing. Like, I feel like there's 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 the sexual fantasies, which are very strong, but there's also the romantic, emotional fantasies. Like, what would it be like if we went here together? What would it be like if we had this kind of conversation? Um, what would it be like if this happened, if that happened? And I feel like it's on both ends, honestly. I feel like it's on her end a lot, but I also feel like it's on his end too. But I just think that one person here is more aware of the psychic aspect of this connection. Um, because I, I feel like with the man here, I feel like he... I think he does daydream about this woman a lot. I really do think that he daydreams about this woman. I feel like he really gets in his head and he fantasizes about her... Um, but the issue is that he doesn't realize that it's, it, they're telepathically communicating. You know what I mean? Like, let's say she's like having a bad day and she's crying and she's like, fuck, like, I wish, I wish we were talking. I wish, I wish I knew him better. I wish, I, I, I wish that I could, I wish we could just talk. I wish that we were just talking. I wish we were in more communication or whatever. Um, he might feel that and he might feel sad or he might feel like pulled towards her. Like he might feel like a protective energy. Like he suddenly wants to be like an emperor energy. Like he wants to be there for her. Um, but then he just assumes it's like a fantasy. He doesn't understand that it's, it's telepathic communication. They're, they're very deeply psychically connected. Um, so, so he just assumes that it's like just a random daydream. He's like, I don't know where the hell that came from. Like, I don't know why I'm randomly wanting to protect her or randomly wanting to be there for her. Like, I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Like, I don't, I don't know why I felt that way. Like he just, he just assumes like, I don't know. Some of them might even think they're going crazy because this con the psychic connection is so strong for others. I just think that they just assume they're just lonely and they're just fantasizing. But, um, and again, there's other fantasies too. It's like, it, 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 there's, there's a lot of telepathic communication here. So there's other fantasies too, like just like the romantic, emotional, gentle fantasies. Like, I wish we went to this, I wish we could go to this place together. I wish, I wish this person were here with me instead of this other person, you know, like I, I wish, I wish it was, it was you instead of them. Um, I wish we were like cuddling. I, I wonder what this person, like what they feel like. I wonder what it's like to hold them. I wonder what it's like to touch their skin. I wonder how they kiss, like, like just things like that. Like, I just feel like there's this energy of that. And, and I don't, you know, and, and again, what this man doesn't realize is that that's telepathic communication. Your souls are connecting. Like your souls are wanting to be close to each other. Um, so I think that's the issue here is he's almost shutting it down because he doesn't, he doesn't realize it's psychic. He thinks that it's just in his head. So, so again, for example, like, let's say that you're, and you could be having dreams about each other right now as well. Um, but like, let's say, for example, you're just having like an emotional day and you're just like, God, like, I just, I wish we were talking. I wish we were cut. Like, I wish this or that. And then he starts feeling it too. He starts feeling that telepathic, like that longing, that love, that energy. Um, and so he's like laying there in bed too. And he's, you know, fantasizing about you as well. He's thinking the same things as you are. Like, I wish, I wonder what it'd be like to, to go to this place with her. I wonder what it'd be like to be holding her right now. Um, like he's feeling that same energy. 
But the difference is, though, I don't I think that the the feminine energy here is more aware that there's something psychic here. There's some kind of soulmate bond here, whereas the person in the masculine energy is is more like like he doesn't realize they're telepathically communicating. He's like, oh, I'm just feeling lonely or I'm bored or um, this is just a dream. It's like he thinks it's just a daydream. So it's like he's there's this telepathic communication and he thinks that it's just a daydream, just a fantasy he thinks that it's just in his head. You know, he thinks that maybe he's just, I think there's a lot of different things he tells himself. Like he tells himself it's a daydream. He tells himself that he's being delusional. He tells himself it's just a fantasy. Like, I doubt it would really be like that. Um, or he tells himself that like, you know, he's lonely, he's bored. He tells himself that, um, what else? What else does he tell himself here? For some, he really just rejects himself. Like he does it, it doesn't make any sense, but it's like he, he, so it's like temperance energy, but I'm not getting a great vibe from the temperance energy because temperance is about balance, but I almost see it here as like, he feels swept away in the emotions, you know what I mean? So he like tries to balance it out and he tries to like, it's like he tells himself certain things to try to not feel all those heavy emotions, but those emotions, that love, that's, again, that, that, passion that love that sexual energy even all of it is real all of it is very real all of it is telepathic it's it's you know there's a soulmate bond here um but yeah it's like he tells himself he's delusional or that it couldn't possibly be that easy or he tells himself um it's just in his head that he's just daydreaming um he tells himself that, you know, he's just distracting himself or whatever else. It's, it's like he tells himself these certain things. Like he really just thinks it's just some random fantasy that popped in his head out of nowhere. Um, so it's like he tries to like temper his emotions and like not get too lost. And I think sometimes he does get lost and he tries to balance it out. But um, but yeah, he needs to understand that that psychic bond, this this love is very real. It's. It's, he's feeling the heavy emotions for a reason because he's being drawn to his true love um, and vice versa. She's being drawn to him as well. Um, I think for others, it's so strange to me, but it's like he feels like rejected by her. Or he feels like he's causing his own heartbreak by being the king of swords. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, it's like she feels rejected by him. She doesn't feel wanted by him. This this feminine energy, like as much as she cares about him, she doesn't feel wanted. Um, it's almost like he just assumes the worst. He just assumes the absolute worst, and then he rejects her, and he doesn't even recognize that he's rejecting her, and then she responds by being this queen of swords and being guarded because she's like, you know what? I'm so tired of being rejected by this man. I'm so tired of feeling this way about this man. Um, I'm like, she's, you know what I mean? It, it's like they're mirroring each other. They're matching each other's energy. So it's like, he's afraid of getting hurt, which actually makes a lot of sense with the, with the deep psychic connection that they have. So like, if he's like, let's say that he's having these like romantic fantasies and then he gets scared, you know what I mean? He's like, oh my God, like I'm being too emotional or I'm afraid of feeling this way about someone again, or I'm afraid of being vulnerable. And then he like shuts himself down and he, he almost like invents like these fake worst case scenarios in his head. Like he calls in devil energy. He calls in negative energy almost like He's like, I bet she would hurt me. I bet she would leave me. I bet this would happen or that would happen. And it's a, an illusion. Like, she's not trying to do any of that to him. She's just trying to love him. Like, she's genuinely just trying to be with him. Um, she has pure intentions for this man. But, um, but yeah, it's like he gets scared about the romantic emotional energy and all the life changes that are coming about because of it as well. And then it's like he, he closes himself off Um out of fear of, of, of hurt or rejection or whatever, but it's like, then he doesn't realize that he's rejecting her. And since they're so telepathically connected, um, she feels that. So like, let's say that he's, um, let's say that he's having like this, this very sweet romantic 
daydream and, and she is having it at the same time. Like they're both just really wanting to be close. They're telepathically connecting. And then his ego comes in and he gets scared and he sabotages the that telepathic communication, that, that telepathic line that they had going, that very loving energy they had between them. It's like he 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 blocks it almost um, out of fear. And then she feels it because that you know, they're, they're always telepathically connected. So then she feels it. She feels his fear and his anxiety. And then she feels that, you know, she, it, it, she starts feeling afraid. She starts feeling rejected as well. You know what I mean? It's like he, they, they really mirror each other. They really match each other's energy a lot. So it's like, he might suddenly like sabotage it with what if she left me for another man? And then at the same time, like shortly after that, she telepathically picks up on it, but she misinterprets it. And she's like, oh my God, like, what if, like, she gets scared too. She's like, what if he left me for another woman? What would I do? You know, like, it, it's like his fear is, is, is affecting her as well. Um, and they're meant to have a new start, but it's not happening because of this, this fear energy, this ego that keeps blocking them. But, um, yeah, it's so strange to me because it's it's like he feels rejected by her, but she's not rejecting him. Again, she's he's coming off as the King of Swords, so she's responding to that. She feels rejected, and so she responds to to feeling rejected by him as the Queen of Swords. She she responds by being the Queen of Swords. She's gonna match his energy. If he's a King of Cups, she's gonna be a Queen of Cups. He's a King of Wands. She's gonna be the Queen of Wands. Because I feel like both of these this does feel like a power couple to me. So I feel like they're they're the Emperor and the Empress. And the emperor is all four kings combined and the empress is all four queens combined. So I think they have all aspects, you know, king and queen of swords, king and queen of wands, king and queen of cups, king and queen of pentacles. Like they have all diverse sides of their personalities. Um, so, I mean, she has this in her, but she would prefer not to be the queen of swords. But again, she is going to continue being the queen of swords if he's going to continue being the king of swords. <clears throat> But yeah, it's like, it's so strange. It's like he rejects himself. There's, there's very deep love here. There's a very psychic connection here. And it's like, he, it's like, he feels it. He knows it deep down, but he denies it. He denies what's, and I almost feel like for some, they might even like the man might even project it onto someone else. Like he tries to distract himself with other women, or he might even pretend like he might try to project what he feels for her onto other women. Like, like, oh, I'll go find her. I'll go find someone just like her somewhere else. You know what I mean? Like, he's trying to run from it. Um, but I think deep down he knows that it, that's, it, that this psychic energy is coming from this woman. You know what I mean? Like, he might tell himself it's coming from someone else or that, you know, he can find someone else just like her or he might try to tell himself it's just a fantasy or whatever number of things he has to tell himself to feel, you know, like protected or whatever. But deep down, I feel like he knows that it's coming from her, that this is this is there's something real here. There's a soulmate bond here. I think deep down he knows that. Um, yeah, I just feel like they're not talking or if they are talking, they're not talking very much. I feel like this, this soulmate couple, I feel like they're, they're just, yeah, they're not in communication or if they are, it's very light communication. Like they're not, they're not, um, neither one of them is saying what they really feel. Neither one of them is expressing emotions. You know what I mean? Like they're both being kind of closed off and kind of guarded and kind of afraid of getting hurt. They're both mirroring each other. They're both feeling the same way about each other. They're both feeling the same fear of abandonment, the same fear of being heartbroken, um, the same fear of being rejected if they express their emotions, like they're both feeling that same fear. Um, but again, I think that she's going to, I don't think she's going to make a move. I think it's on him. I think she's waiting. She's going to follow his lead. You know what I mean? So like I said, if he's emotionally expressive and open, she's going to start being emotionally expressive and open in return and in, in response to him. So it, it's, it's up to him how he wants to lead this. Um, Yeah, it's just the rejection to me is just so strange. But yeah, I guess it's more I, I guess it's it's kind of just again, it's it's him rejecting himself. It's him like getting in his head and creating false negative scenarios. It's almost like he tries to fight it. It's like he feels such strong love for her and then it freaks him out. So he tries to fight it by like being negative or by creating false negative scenarios. And he tells himself it's him being logical. You know what I mean? So like, again, like, let's say they're telepathically connecting 
um, and fantasizing about each other or they're like jacking off to each other at the same time or whatever. But then it's like he gets afraid of that. Like he knows, I think part of him knows deep down it's it's that there's something real here. But then it's like he gets afraid of it. So he like, he's like, oh, I bet it wouldn't be that perfect or I bet she would hurt me or she would reject me or this or that. And it's it's like, it, it's just him being negative and pessimistic. It's It's him... You know what I mean? It, it's it's like he's rejecting himself, and then it, it, like the the rejection is an illusion. There's no rejection between the two of them. They both love each other, but you know their their egos are afraid of rejection. Their their past experiences, past heartbreaks, make them afraid of rejection. Things like that. You know what I mean? Um, so it's like, yeah, it's like he gets in his head and then he just assumes the worst and he assumes things that are negative that are not even true. And then he feels rejected by her, even though it's him doing it to himself. Um, yeah. I know I repeated that a lot, but it's like sometimes I repeat it because it's like then there's more information that comes through that I channel because I know there's more to that, but it's not. I don't know why it's not coming in. Um. Yeah, I, again, I think he needs to be more mindful of his energy of how he presents himself because I almost feel like I guess that's part of it, too. It's like, you know, he presents himself as a king of swords, guarded, cold, distrusting. And then so she responds. Um, I'm getting I know I repeated that, but I'm getting somewhere with it. But she responds by being the king the, being, by being the queen of swords. You know what I mean? Like she feels rejected. So she responds by putting her sword up because he's got his sword up. So she's like, OK, if you're going to be defensive, I'll be defensive, too. If you're going to reject me, I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm not going to put myself out there for you. I don't want to get rejected anymore. She's going to be cold and defensive to match his cold defensive energy. But since he's so unaware of how he's coming off, he's so unaware of, of the fact that he's presenting himself as a king of swords. I think that's part of the issue is that he goes home and he's like, oh, she was the queen of swords today. Um, see, like that's proof that she would hurt me or she would reject me or she would do this or that. You know what I mean? It's like. It's like self-sabotage. It's like you're matching his energy and then he's blaming you for matching his energy. Um, but I think this man would be amazed how gentle and loving and sweet you would be with him if he were to just come in a better energy, if he were to just present himself as a king of cups or even a king of wands or a knight of cups. Like, I feel like you'd be amazed at like, I mean, I feel, I feel like he would be amazed <clears throat> uh, like how gentle you would be how loving yeah because there's like a karmic cycle here it's it's almost like someone I almost feel like it's both of them like both these people are so used to pain they're so used to rejection they're so used to being left out in the cold that they have a chance to end that karm karmic <clears throat> oh my gosh they have a chance to end that karmic cycle they have a chance to end that that energy of being unwanted, being unloved, being not just invisible. Like you see how this person is trying to, this woman's trying to get this man's attention and he's just not seeing her. She's like, hey, I'm right here in front of your face. Um, but it's like they, you guys have a chance to end this karmic cycle with each other if you can let the pride go. There is true love here. So anyway, I'm going to put this out. This ended up being way longer than I intended, but I hope this resonates and makes sense to you guys. And as always, I appreciate your comments and your support. Thank you guys for watching.